If you know how to use ChatGPT correctly right now, you can make millions of dollars in 2025 and beyond. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the three ways you're not using it right now as a business owner that can make you millions. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Storm Ross. I run an eight figure agency. And as of two weeks ago, I lost my home in the LA fires. So if you're seeing this and seeing this janky setup, it's because I don't have a home and I don't have a studio. So give me some grace in this video. When it comes to ChatGPT, this is something that I've been testing and using a lot in my business to make sure I am scaling faster and not wasting time researching or doing the wrong things. And I found three great ways in my business that we use ChatGPT every single month. And these things can completely change the game for you. This is going to impact your strategy, how you recruit talent, when you recruit talent, and how your talent performs. And I'm going to walk you through how to use ChatGPT for all three. So as you can see here, I've already used ChatGPT to build a capacity and forecasting model. And this is critical because if you know how much capacity you have, when you need to hire, when you need to pause, or when you need to you know, start looking to hire, you make better decisions. And I find that no founders, very few founders actually know their capacity. Now when people are over capacity or know what their resource allocation looks like. So I'm going to slowly scroll through this prompt and I just want to explain how I set this up. So first, can you make a CSV file? So first and foremost, I want to have a file that I could put into Excel or into Google Sheets. And I asked it that I want to forecast for my bookkeeping firm. I already know what I want to look like, but I want to set some parameters up. And the parameters I set up are setting baseline assumptions and then also just defining like so many things, right? When you have baseline assumptions, how many hours do things take? What roles are involved? What are the team members involved? What are the clients involved? And like, how are they different in shapes and sizes and has an impact hours, what's hours allocation, all these things. Now I know how to do this, but you might not know how to do this. So the prompt that you could actually ask to set this up is really simple. I need to build a forecasting model and a capacity model. Can you help me do this? I don't know what to ask or how to say this. Please help me build this. Make sure you ask me a lot of questions. Take extra time to process this information and give me a level three response. So I'm going to explain a few things. Number one, you don't have to know how to do this because ChatGPT has access to the entire internet. Take more time to process this information. ChatGPT is programmed to give you less effective responses the first time. So if you ask for a level three response or ask it to process your information longer, it will spend more computing power to do so and give you a better response. So the first reply I usually get on ChatGPT is called the level one response. If you ask for a level two response, it'll go deeper and a level three response will go deeper. So that's how you can do that. Now, when you're making any model, you might also ask it to say, hey, I know a few parameters I want to set in this. Here are the parameters. Can we start with the things I know? And can you then ask me all the other things you need to know? That's how you can set it up. I'm just going to scroll through so you can actually see what this entire prompt is. When this video goes live, I'll make sure I copy and paste this prompt into the comments. And you can see here that for the forecasting model, ChatGPT said I could definitely help you make this. Here are the sections of the model. So I was doing this for my businesses, which is an accounting firm. And then you can see here, you know, it had questions for me and I just answered all the questions. I don't know the answer to every question. So what I could do is I could get this download. I could come back. I could re-upload the document later and say, hey, I have more information. Take this document that you made for me in a previous session and I want to finish these sections. So you could actually work and spar with it ongoing as long as you save the data and re-upload it later because it can't really save too much data at the time of my recording. So you can see here, final plan gives me capacity, ongoing capacity, hiring, and it gives me the CSV. So this is the first thing that you could use it for. You can use it for measuring capacity and then actually planning on when to hire. I find a lot of founders struggle on being clear and effective on when they should not. The second thing you could use this for is strategy. I actually think strategy is one of the highest leverage things you could use this for because if you pick the right strategy, you should grow. And what that means is where do you put your time? Where do you put your attention? What do you focus on fixing your business? A lot of people will hire guys like me to do that, but ChatGPT has access to all the information on the internet. It just needs to be prompted correctly with the right questions. So you could ask it kind of anything, whether you need help with lead sales, or maybe you don't even know what you need help with, but you could see my questions. I'm struggling with my business strategy. Can you help me come up with my own business strategy to get more leads? So you could see here, I asked it and it's giving me some bull like we don't care about this. So you can see, I'm just saying, stop. I said, don't give me a cookie cutter BS response. Let me take your time to process, ask me questions and I'm going to start. So this is my attempt to avoid it just being annoying and not helpful. Now in this example, I'm actually going to make this super real for you watching. So you actually get a peek behind the curtain. So right now, if you look at the bottom right corner, this is January, 2025. We book about hundred appointments on ADAF every month, but about 50 of them are not qualified. So we have about 50 qualified appointments and I would like to double that this year. And I'd like to double it soon. So I'm going to tell them. 
uh, I'm booking 50 qualified appointments. And just for the sake of this, I don't want to give all the actual information. It's taking too much time. So I'm just going to stop at 37 leads. We get 37 leads per month. So you can see here, I'm giving some entry level information and then I'm saying, ask me the questions. So this is actually really interesting because ChatGPT could be your business advisor and coach. And a lot of times what I find is just by having it ask me questions, that is sufficient enough for me to actually get the correct answers or come up with my own answers, which a lot of times I know it's just, there's too much going on in my brain. I find that to be true most founders. So you can see here, it's actually processing. So this is actually really interesting. Double down on existing sources, new lead channels, scale first constraints. So I'm actually pretty blunt and rude to chat GPT because it's a machine, so who cares? So this is actually really interesting. Where's the better leverage? So this is saying get 20 referrals a month rather than 10. That's actually not a bad idea. And peace, increased posting volume, also not a bad idea. Like scraping leads. And now it's saying, go get 17 leads, eight ads. Not a bad concept, cold email, not a bad concept. So you can see here, I could work with it. I could say, I don't want to do this. I want to focus more on this. Can you help me figure out how to like turn on Facebook? Like look up, here's actually one. Chris Weiser's a micro influencer. He runs an eight figure business called Seven Figure MSP. I don't know if he makes content, but this is like an attempt where I can say, I know this person's making content. This Can you study their content? Tell me what to do. So this is actually really interesting. So look at this, like now it's giving me what to do based on Chris's content. Like, cause Chris has written about this, ChatGPT studied it and it's told me what to do. You can see here, it's like, it's researched this YouTube video, which is crazy. It literally just spent all that time. That's how you could use it for leads. You could say, study this person's content. Tell me what to do, go deeper. Like, I don't like this. I do like this. I'm willing to do this. I'm not willing to do this, but ultimately you kind of know where you want to go, but sometimes you just need to work with it as a sparring partner. And that's what my hope is for you to learn on this specific instance. The third and final thing is you can use ChatGPT to be your coach or to coach someone on your team on how to either be better at sales or account manager or client calls, which is actually fascinating. So I went back to 2022 to find an old call between an old client and DJ Growth and myself. I download the transcript and you can see I download it into a docx. I have no clue what docx is. Now what I'm going to do is I want ChatGPT to coach me on how to be a better consultant. But I need to figure out who are the best consultants. The first prompt I ask is like, who are the best in the world? Do you have access to their content? And give me a level three response. So take time and then research this. So it gives me firms, it gives me people, and it gives me best practices. So you could use ChatGPT to coach you on any call that's recorded, as long as you have a transcript. So in your category, you say, if you have specific people you want it to study and compare you against, like maybe you like Jordan Belfort and you want to learn how to be like him or Frank Cardone, ask it to research all their sales information and then say, I'm gonna upload a transcript, compare me against them. But like, I'm a consultant, maybe I don't know who I want to compare against because this could also be for media buying. So I ask it, who are the best consulting firms in the world? Do you have access to their content trainings? Take time to research them. So you can see here, it did some research, it found some people. So I upload the entire transcript. You can see it's like an hour call. So it's like, no joke, it's reading the entire transcript. This is crazy. Like call starts with my wife, don't do that. Controlling the flow, it's referencing something specific. So you could see here, like this is actually crazy that it could be a coach to your team. Your team members could do this. So maybe you could set a benchmark of, hey, if you're running an ad strategy call, I need you to upload one call a day and review the notes and share the findings. You can also do this for sales, upload the findings for sales. If you're doing this for consulting, like any time there's a client call, and this could also work for management. Managers can do this. So there are so many tactical tips here and you could ask it for more analysis compared against more people. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe so I can get you more insight on how to run your business better and grow your company. Thank you for the grace. I am not in my office. My office doesn't exist anymore. It will be back soon. And make sure you watch some of my other videos on how to use ChatGPT or operations on a great business. Thanks.